can you tell me a little bit about your family? Uh, who were the people in the home when you were growing up? What was okay. the composition? Uh, well, uh, it was a, a really a classic nuclear a family. We were living in a rather non-Jewish community called Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Uh, at that time, they were just building the Verrazano Bridge, actually when I was seven. And uh, my, uh, both my uh, grandparents lived there, and uh, Georgie Gilbert and Joe Seifer were really uh, pioneers in forming the Bay Ridge Jewish Center. And uh, so while this community was uh, primarily Norwegian and Italian and Irish, uh, there were this small, small group of Jews who lived there and that formed the Jewish community. My father uh, was, uh, went into my grandfather's uh, coffee company. My grandfather had gone from that little pisher sleeping in a uh, bathtub to own his own coffee and tea roast uh, importing and roasting company. And my mother was uh, one of five children, the oldest daughter of Joe Seifer, the impoverished uh, immigrant in the Lower East Side who had become one of the top hotel owners in uh, New York. And um, they we're now this perfect American family, the, the dream of uh, assimilation. So we would celebrate, for instance, Yom Kippur. We would get ready for Kol Nidre, but the family would be served shrimp uh, and sit down to the table with God knows what. And then the next morning during uh, um, Yisker, the kids would leave and we'd all go break the fast by 11.30 over at, I don't know what the equivalent of Ray's Pizza was, but with pepperoni pizza. So that's how Jewish we'd become. Uh, and, uh, and yet my grandparents had founded that very temple that, you know, they were praying in earlier that morning.